Hey cats and welcome to Cat Cart. Who here likes saying that they're smarter than random people? Or fans or just anybody? Well if you said yes then I've got the right video for you. Because today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 dumbest Mario characters. Yep, at number 10 we have Mario. First of all, if Mario is so smart, why doesn't he take better care of Peach? Now, maybe he just likes going on adventures, but if that's the case, he has three other princesses that he could get Bowser to kidnap. Now, maybe Mario just wants to show Peach how much he would do for her, but if that's the case, why has he got Bowser to kidnap her? Like a billion times. If Mario likes spaghetti so much, why didn't he just cook spaghetti for Peach? And in his adventures, why didn't he just get a car and drive over all the Goombas and Coopers instead of walking really slowly to kill Bowser? Come on, we've seen you in cars in the Mario Kart series. You can drive, you can run over all these enemies. But in my opinion, there's still more dumb characters. At number 9, we've got the worst camera operator ever, Lakitu. Lakitu's most iconic appearance is in the Mario Kart series. Now, depending on the game, Lakitu varies in helpfulness. Say, in Mario Kart Wii, it takes him forever to pick you up. And he can't even be bothered to start the race in DS. And yes, he's actually good in 8 Deluxe. But is that a good thing? He's making the game too easy now. Lakitu's also an enemy in some Mario games, and depending on the game, he can be really annoying to a super easy to avoid. And in Super Mario 64, He's the worst camera operator ever! Like, come on, it's not that hard to film a person. But yet, he is really bad at it. But we're only getting started. Number 8 is Peach. So Peach is apparently the princess of the Martian Kingdom. But she's such a bad princess, she never does anything to the Kingdom. Peach is like the rulers of today, she doesn't do anything and she only cares about money. There's hundreds of homeless toads, and here's Peach partying with Mario. Now I think this is dumb, because if she was actually smart, she would think of that at her toads, and actually help them. And if Peach keeps getting kidnapped, why doesn't she upgrade her security? That would be a really smart thing to do. Also, there's a game called Super Princess Peach, which I'm playing right now. I'm not sure why the footage is so bad. It wasn't this bad when I was recording it, but... Anyway. Instead of power-ups, you can use Peach's emotion to help you, like I'm doing right now. So I've heard people say, learn to use your emotions. But Peach has spent so much time learning how to control her emotions, that now she can use whatever emotion she wants, whenever she wants. You could have spent that time learning algebra. Why do you waste your time like that? So Peach is dumb and Daisy nearly made it onto the list. I mean, at least Rosalina is smart, I guess. But Loom is sure aren't. So basically, in Super Mario Galaxy, Mario is saving thing, the Loom is by collecting power stars so they can travel through space. And then what do the Loom is do for Mario? Well, absolutely nothing. So look at this Loomer, he says I've got a secret but I'm not telling you. And then what is his secret you might be asking? His secret is the fact that he can spawn red stars that allows Luigi slash Mario to fly. And sure it's not using very many levels, 
but it would just save time if the Luma let us have the power from the start of the game. And he also has a power star. Like, why? Why do you need a power star? Look, I need to travel around the universe to get power stars to give to Rosalina so she can find your mum. And what are you doing? You're hiding power stars from us. You annoying Luma. And that's not the only Luma that does something like that. Like, seriously, you annoying dumb Lumas. You are so dumb. Do you know why Donkey Kong's called Donkey Kong? Because he's stupid, just like a donkey. In the first Donkey Kong Country, this guy called King K. Rool steals all of Donkey Kong's bananas, and what does Donkey Kong do? He has a tantrum and tries to kill him. Like, dude, you live in a jungle, just go and find another banana, you don't need to kill a guy just to get some more bananas. And he's captured Pauline for ridiculous reasons. Like, one time, Mario didn't give him a mini Mario choice, so he's kidnapped Pauline. Like, why? He's also done really dumb activities. Like one time he started up this barrel blasting competition thing. But why that seems so dangerous and your monkeys, monkeys can't drive cars or barrels or whatever they're using in that game. And that's only a few reasons why Donkey Kong's a donkey. But to save time, let's move on. Bowser may look smart, but he's really not. Look, I don't want to be the elephant in the room, but what's up with him and Princess Peach? Like, come on, you've pretty much dead at this point. Just give up on Princess Peach. There's like three other princesses that you can marry. I mean, I guess two because Daisy and Luigi are a thing, but still, you don't need to die over Peach. And usually there's obvious ways to kill him. Like the most of the time there's a hammer on a bridge which is over lava. Like what are you thinking? And what are other ways that you die? Like ground pounding over a bridge with breakable blocks which is over lava. Being on a platform with bombs after Mario already threw into a bomb like twice. And it gets even more dumb when you look at the plot of Super Mario Galaxy. So basically Bowser wants to build his own planet, so he steals power stars off like this god. And then do you know what happens after Mario defeats him? And then he gets knocked into the core of the sun. But it gets worse. Because then his planet explodes and turns into a black hole which destroys the whole universe. Look, Bowser, if you're going to create your own universe, you should have a degree in biology, and you should be a trained professional at NASA, or whatever the Mushroom Kingdom's version of NASA is. I could go on all day about why Bowser is so dumb, but I don't think anybody will want to watch a 24 hour video about why Bowser is so dumb. Well, look, if this video can get 100 likes, I'll do something like that. So, make this video get 100 likes by the end of the week, please. Even though that will definitely not happen. Number 4 is the best video game character ever, Bowser Jr. Now I think about it, Bowser Jr. might be a bit smarter than its dad. He's a harder boss than New Super Mario Bros. for the DS, and he knows a bit about how to build robots. Although now I think about it, maybe the Cupid's build Bowser Jr.'s robots. Also, Bowser Jr. is pretty dumb, considering he doesn't even realize that how bad of a villain Bowser is. Like seriously, why do you care so much about your dad? I mean, he's probably nice to Bowser Jr. 
But seriously, just star your own team and kidnap Princess Peach. Well, and also, let's get the obvious out of the way. Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I won't let you take Mama Peach away. Mama? Mama Peach? How do we go from the best Mario character to the worst Mario character? Bird is extremely dumb, like, look at her! Does this thing look smart? And what gender even is she? No one even knows, I doubt even Birdo knows what gender she is. Like, seriously, how can somebody be smart and not know what gender they are? Like, seriously, I think it's pretty obvious to see why this thing is dumb. Oh, Boo Boo, why do you have to resist and get rid of all the challenge in a Mario game? Like, why do you fight Mario? You are so weak! Just need to jump on your head a few times. And it doesn't help that your head is giant. And he's kind of fed in King in Super Mario 3D World. But in a game like Super Mario Bros. 3, you can easily kill him. He doesn't even go into his shell after he gets hit. Why does he even work for Bowser? Well, maybe he pays Boo Boo well. But what does he want the money for anyway? To get sprinkled over his gravestone after he dies? Ooh, why not? But yeah, there's still one Mario character which is dumber than Boo Boo. I know it's hard to believe it. And the dumbest Mario character is... Look, the whole Toad species are really dumb. Toads are scared of everything, and I always rely on Peach keeping them company and saving them from everything. Well, let me tell you this, you dumb Toads. Peach doesn't even care about you, I'm pretty sure. Even Captain Toad's scared of everything. When he saw B Mario in the Super Mario Galaxy, he thought he was an actual B and got scared of him. Like, seriously, he's just a furby! No need to freak out, you dumb toad. And yeah, I think it's pretty obvious why toads are the dumbest Mario characters. But what about the dumbest Nintendo character? Or the dumbest video game character? Well, how about we find that out now? And the worst video game character ever is... It's Jigglypuff, like seriously, I don't know what else you were expecting me to say. Well anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe! And if you want me to donate to the RSPCT, hit that bell for notifications. Yeah, totally, if you hit that bell for notifications, I will donate $5 to charity to help protect Toads get through this difficult time. Also, if you click on that video, which is about the top 10 ports I want on the Nintendo Switch, that will also make me happy. But if you don't want to, that's okay. Just click on the other video, which is about the top 10 worst Mario Kart characters. Both are great videos. There's also a playlist of all my feeding Mario videos, if you're that epic. But anyway, thanks for watching, and bye.